Breathe. Tight abs. So we're really cutting your work time in these kicks. It's good. Okay, time. Touch, 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 touch. Rhythm, 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 rhythm. Stop. Good job. Stop. Good job. 20 push ups, Janelle. Drop and go. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Invite some friends over and do this. Why not? Good job, guys. Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. We are. You having a good day? Yeah, yeah. Good day, yeah, I'm having a good time all around. Just uh, did my workout actually earlier this morning. I, I couldn't get it in, so I did, um, I pulled out, um, I pulled out the arms DVD from the body series and I just, just did that. And it was awesome because I didn't have an hour, so I got it done and my arms feel so much better. Okay, but this is not about me or anything else. This is about you and your workout quickie of the day. So um, workout quickie, just a quick little tip on the workout quickies. The way that you're gonna use them is A, if you're already um, a kettlebell kickboxing, kettlebell kickboxer, and you're going to incorporate some of this stuff into the rest periods in your uh, Scorcher series or Body Series DVDs. Um, another way to work this in is to create this into, uh, kind of integrate this into your own workout. So what you do, you use this as a bonus round at the end of your workout or the beginning, um, or you can kind of integrate this in as um, maybe you're done with your lunges or you're done with uh, your high intensity interval set and then your next one would be this motion that we're going to bring to you today. And the last way to do this is to get up off your couch and to come to your living room, find a little spot and just do the workout with us. You can do it one time, it's a two minute round, or you can actually create a workout out of this um, and make this nine minutes by doing this three times over. So all the different ways you can use the workout quickie. And again, if you're my KB body, kettlebell kickboxing, scorcher series, peeps, then please start to put this in as a bonus round or put this in especially into your rest periods. So we're gonna combine two really cool things. Um, we're gonna start off coming into a plank. From the plank, the ladies are gonna find a downward dog. I'm actually gonna just, Emily's gonna chill for a minute. Uh, Blue's gonna show this to you one time. The first minute, she's going to come into plank position. And then from plank, she's going to find her downward dog. And if you don't know what a downward dog is, all I want you to think about for the purposes of today, here now, is to bring or drive your hips to the ceiling as you pull your shoulder blades together. Make sure that you have even amount of weight distribution between the legs and the arms. Open up your palms and make sure, like I said, you're not holding yourself up with just uh, the lower or upper part of your body. The entire body's working here. Relax your neck. From here, she's gonna come to plank position. And Emily's gonna do all of the modifieds of this. And from plank position, she's gonna, going, going to go to alligator or chaturanga. And then from here, she's going to come right back up. Boom, and then she's gonna go back to plank position. So Blue's gonna play between bending her knees and not bending her knees. If you're new to this, you might wanna come into plank position and bend your knees as you do the push up up. And Emily's gonna do the entire series modified, and that is your first round. Emily's gonna demo the second round. Second round's fun. So from here, all she's gonna do is go into alligator or chaturanga. So she's gonna bend her knees and come down. And then from here, she's going to push up and then she's going to do these KB swing switches with the legs, one, two, three, four, and right back down. Alligator, boom, bend the knees, come right back up, and then from here, back to plank, and one, two, three, four. All right, let's get it popping. So the first round, remember, you're doing that downward dog, then you're finding yourself in a plank. From plank, you're coming right down. You, you want to try to bring your elbows to your knees mentally, right down to the alligator or the chaturanga if you're a yogi. And then from there, you're going to come right back up. And then your second round, we're gonna add the cardio. So let's do it, two minutes on the clock. I get to just cue these women. I don't get to train with you today. First minute starts now. Emily's doing all of the modifieds. Blue's doing the advanced. So the modified for the downward dog looks exactly the same. Beautiful back here, that's a kettlebell kickboxing back. And then she's going to shift back into her plank. Now she might need to do a modified plank all around and just bend her knees, come down. Still everything is active. She's working her glutes, she's working her back. Everything works there. It's not just your arms that are lifting you up. And then she gets that nice deep stretch in the back of the legs. She makes sure that you're working your back. See all those muscles engaged there? That's the back working. And then right back and right back down. So you see two 
two beautiful women and they look a little bit different doing this and that's because they both know their bodies really well and the body is a different tool for everyone so they're all different levels of their fitness they're also um, they're also functioning differently so you might see the biomechanics correct in both a little bit different blue does has been doing this for a long time she's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner so when she does these motions she knows exactly what muscle she's engaging you guys are time so you might have seen this before, and this is a great uh, variation if you haven't seen it, maybe using this motion, like I said, in your kettlebell kickboxing body or scorch series DVDs, but now let's add the heart pounding success of this, the fat burning, fat melting, just muscle building all around <laughs> awesomeness. So back to plank position you go, and I'm gonna reset this timer because I wanna make sure they get the correct work, and from here down to alligator. Boom, perfect, and then from here they're gonna pop back up and they're gonna do four swing switches. So we call these swing switches, but they're not kettlebell switches, they are leg switches and they're extremely challenging. If you feel like you can't do this, then you can definitely do a mountain climber. How do I know you can do a mountain climber? You all went to high school in the United States or somewhere else and apparently a big fan, uh, high school teachers love, gym teachers love to give mountain climbers to their students. So I'm sure everyone can do a mountain climber and if you're doing a mountain climber, Emily has her feet you're gonna do it one more time for me, buddy. She has those feet off the ground, so you don't wanna drag your feet on the ground. That's a common troubleshooting uh, thing with, with uh, mountain climbers. People really think that they have to drag their feet and touch the floor, but if she comes to the top, she actually doesn't touch the floor at all. So they're still working, I'm still talking, you're still jamming, hopefully you're working with us. Beautiful, I'm gonna hold the last one with you guys because I love this move. I'm gonna just hang out. So try to stay here for five guys, last set, four, three, two, bend your knees or not, pop up in one, two, three, and four. When you come up, drive through this heel, and voila. Feeling good? Yeah. Awesome, I always like to, <laughs> to do that. And you're feeling it. So this is another great uh, thing that you can put in if you're a yogi, you can put this in as a little bit of a cardio round. Um, remember, kettlebell kickboxing body series and scorcher series encompasses martial motion. We do have a motion from yoga. Uh, we're not teaching you yoga. We incorporate the motions because some of them are too good not to have. Yes. And uh, yes, <laughs> she's, she's, a, she's a martial artist, a yogi, and a kettlebell kickboxer. She's one of our instructors um, here in the New York City facility and Emily as well. So definitely, Emily shirts says, I swing. If you want to know where to get that shirt, you can go on to kettlebellkickboxing.com and hopefully we'll have it up there for you. So join us next time if you love it, hate it, not sure, don't know how to do it, haven't done it yet. Just post below here on the YouTube and let us know what you think. If you want to know where Blue gets her tops, just let her know if you want to know where to get this. Just post something. Just say hi, okay? Say right something. below there. Yeah, just say if you see something, say you need something. to say something. So say something. Hashtag, thank you. KB body. So